hey guys how you doing all right okay this is a request video and the truth is i normally do not make videos like this is for the simple fact that you know if we have to send just animations to unreal it will be very simple we export and we are in unreal but how do you put materials on it how do you set blueprints to move the character around in unreal how do you retarget your animation because this is our character we created for unity right this is not unreal engine uh, mechan character right so the animation will only work for this character inside unreal if you want to use this character and the animations for another character in unreal you know there's a process of retargeting and it's more to to it right so i just want you guys to know that part so if you have a problem after you export to unreal i want you guys to to have patience i will have a full course where we will do all kind of stuff because the power of houdini animations is inside the crowd animations right that is what people don't know the crowd animation is very powerful that you can use a lot of tricks and you you do all kind of animations and you send them to unreal so we will have a course and we will explore the crowd animations it's not just for making crowd animations it's, it's the whole animations for houdini is right here in the crowd animations right so we will tackle that and we will do a lot of stuff right but i'm doing it because i know some of you guys are comfortable you know how to do even retargeting in unreal and all that stuff but maybe you are mixing the right perimeters here in houdini how to export it to unreal right so that is what we're going to tackle today you can export all of the characters here in in houdini into unreal all right so so let let me show you something real quick. let's turn off the bike let's turn off the unity rate and if we open the simple mocha biped one you see that under the animation perimeter they have a lot of animations right so you should be able to send each one of the animations into unreal so i'll show you how to to do all of that stuff and you know, so you, if you create more animation for your character how you send them and all that stuff in in that course and so many stuff we will explore in but the whole power like i said is in the crowd animations so let's delete this for now And let's turn on the rig okay the character here so how would you export this character and the animation to unreal very simple that is what i think my good friend wanted to know so very simple the same as we did for exporting to unity just a few perimeters that we have to change right so we come here and we go to export fbx okay so then you have to say what where are you going to drop it let's go to the desktop and let's put it here inside Houdini to unreal let's name it like dot fbx okay and then save it and you have to specify the range of the animation we have okay if you leave it blank it will go but there will be no animation so we will set the range and let's keep the whole range which is 100 right so if you have a longer animation you will set it here okay and what are we going to export this is the rig we can just grab it and drop it here boom or we can go inside 
our you know seam and grab it over there the same all right so so we get the basic ones range and the character we want to export we will leave everything like that the only thing we will check is false skin deformation okay false skin deform export we will check that all right and when we get deeper we will work on blending shapes and all that and if we have blend shapes we will check that and it will, it will export our blend shapes to to houdini but just for now let's just check um skin deformation and that will help you to get the character and the bones all stick together all right the banding stuff if you don't check this you will see that the animations the skin character will be different the, the skeleton will be plain but the mesh will be still so this is the binding we are forcing to bind them together when it gets to unreal okay, that it, that's it this is the the major perimeter you have to check and then you export as usual okay guys so we come to unreal and we launch unreal okay the version you have you launch it okay guys so we get into unreal engine 4 right so at this point i know the uh, the unreal engine guys are comfortable from this point right only that i'll have to show you guys some of the perimeters you will check to import the houdini animations right but if you are not comfortable with unreal engine then i'll i would like to say have some patience and wait for the course that will come i'll be teaching you guys very detailed we will even talk about the interface and all that stuff right so when we are here i'm using the third person template all right the third person template so if we come to content we can let's create a folder a new one okay let's make it okay so inside this folder we will bring our character all right so let's go out here desktop for here this is the character from Houdini so we will drag it and watch when we drag it we will have some some pop-up and all that stuff so let's drop it in inside the folder okay boom so we have this indicating that we are importing that animation from houdini so that brings up this dialogue okay so this is where you have to also make some changes right we cannot just import with the d default all right so what we would do is over here at the skeleton we will check none okay because if we use on rare engine skeleton our character is not the same so it will not work okay so we will leave it blank for the first time we will leave it none so that on rare will create a skeleton for our character using our rake that is a major factor here 
so this is very important leave it none for the first time because we are now using the same unreal engine making character making character right rig so we have to leave it blank so unreal will give us a rig based on our character and we have a character we created for what we created that rig for unity okay you can use the same principle to create a rig for unreal so that will be part of the course that will come so we will leave this point blank okay and the next part will be import animation we will check that because we want to bring in that animation if we just want to bring in the, the the mesh the character we will leave this part unchecked so let's check import animation okay and here you have animation length okay and we can say set range if we have specific range of animation from our timeline from Houdini that we want to set we will use set range but we want the whole animation comes in just like we had it in Houdini so we said animated time okay that gives us just the length of the animation we had in Houdini so you leave it default okay animated time all right and and one important part here is the scale okay import uniform scale if we leave it 1.0 it will be very little because Houdini scale will will be very little in Unreal Engine 4 it will be like 100 times or something so we will give here 100 okay so that will give the character you know matching on red engine 4 scale okay that is the only scaling issue we will have to tackle you can leave all this part default and here convert scene and false front x-axis we can leave all of that for now okay so materials you know we can we can leave all of that you see because i assume that you guys that are comfortable in unreal you can create materials and make those kind of changes so the only issue that you have to check is the scale and keep the animation or you can switch the range and import animation and then not okay so before i close this if this character coming in now we have none it will create one for us so the next time we will come we will have our character rig here instead of on rare engine for mechanism skeleton you will have the what is the name for our character we need to on rare engine character here so we will pick that one and then at that point we can only import just animation without importing the skin i mean yeah the skin the, the mesh you see that is how you bring all kind of animation for that same mesh so now pay attention here this time we are bringing in the character the skin and the skeleton right two things we need two things the mesh and the skeleton but if we have more animation we are bringing in for this character we don't need the mesh no more all we need is we will specify that this character coming in only take the animations but use the animations for the unreal engine 4 character that will come here you see so that is how you bring in more animations for the same character very simple so at this time the first time you are bringing in you will say now nah. it will create one for us because our character is not the same as on rare character so that is when in the course we will start to figure out how do we use uh on rare engine animations and you know for our character then we'll go into character retargeting and all that stuff deep deep stuff here in unreal all right but if some of you guys are comfortable with that you guys can do that so this is the perimeter that is important so all we have to do is import all okay
So you wait for a little bit for the compilation to finish. So after the compilation, you will see that you have the materials, the body, and everything comes in. Then you close the message dialog. Okay. So we close that. All right. And maybe you have to save the project. Okay. And we come here to animations see it's, it's right here in our rare engine four very cool so so we will get deeper we will spend some time and then we are here we have our animation what do we do we can bring in the bike you know bring in all these um our rare engine effects and you will create something cool so at this point you know guys i know that from this point you should be able to get around and and work with your character you have brought inside on rare engine 4 okay so if we drop our character in here and we play there you go see we have our character in on rare engine very cool very cool so imagine what you can do with all these cool on rare engine 4 effects and particles and all that crazy stuff that is when we will have a full course that we will, you know, go through how we will do blueprint, you know, and do all kind of stuff. All right, guys. So thank you. And if you have any questions, please have some patience. The course, I will release the course very soon because I'm almost done with the Unity course and we, we will complete that series and I'll have some time and and finish this one too because um those one is almost done i'm working on just a few things so the next thing i'll be free and i'll work on this houdini to unreal engine 4 animations right because it's much deeper working from from the crowds and we will have some cool stuff and animation will be so easy for you all right guys thank you so i'll see you around Thank you.